Welcome to a new vlog. Today's video will be about uh, reducing the motor noise on my CR10 3D printer. Ever since I've installed the uh, BL Touch Auto Bed Leveling Sensor, my prints have been very smooth. I've documented the process in a previous uh, video that I will uh, link on screen right now. So if you're interested in that upgrade, I highly recommend you watch the video for step-by-step -step instructions. So if the printer was working fine, I printed more parts and uh, I started to notice the motor noise more and more. My printer particularly makes an awful sound when the x-axis moves at a higher rate. Here is an example video. It's like a metallic vibration sound, but uh, if I go to check manually, there are no loose parts on the print head. Then I thought about the uh, newly added BL Touch sensor. It has that metal pin which can move and I believe it can make this vibration noise that I'm hearing. So uh, to test that, I've added a couple of rubber bands to stop it from vibrating and I can definitely hear a difference. So the metal pin of the sensor is vibrating and creating that noise. Then I tried removing the BL Touch sensor altogether to see if that would change anything. And yes, it confirmed what I observed earlier, there is less noise without the sensor. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, a professional manufacturer of printed circuit boards. Their website is modern and has convenient features like easy to use order form with built-in Gerber viewer, production process tracking, package tracking and single button reorder for previous orders without having to upload Gerber files again. I even removed the print head shield and inspected the screws, but they were all tight, nothing moving in there. So I decided to just go ahead and install these motor dampers on the X and Y axis motors. I got this a few weeks ago, I showed them in a mailbag video 178 and the cost was about $8 for a set of two. They feature two metallic parts and a compliant rubber part in the middle that connects the outer two. I wonder how they get this rubber to stick to the metal and uh, prevent it from coming off. One concern with these is that they might add problems to the system by creating a flexible joint where there shouldn't be one. So this might add errors while printing. I don't know right now, these uh, feel pretty rigid. I'll make an update video if I notice any issues after installing them. For the actual install, I started with the Y-axis. First, I loosened the screws at the opposite side of the motor just to be able to loosen the belt so I can work on the motor without the belt being a uh, tension. Then I unscrewed the motor and set it aside. Take a closer look at the damper. You will see it has two holes without a tap and two holes which are tapped. The side with the non-tapped holes has to go on the motor because the screw holes are tapped on the motor itself. Use two of the screws that were originally holding the motor to secure the damper to the motor. You also want to loosen the two grab screws holding the gear wheel on the axle. We will have to adjust this after we install the motor to realign it with the belt track. Now slide the motor back into position and use the remaining two screws to secure the motor to the motor mount. This time the thread is on the vibration damper. The next step is to align the gear wheel to the belt track. This is important because we don't want the belt rubbing on something and destroying itself. Now take a closer look at how the new system behaves. I can pull on the motor and I notice there's a small play from the elastic part of the damper. Now moving on to the x-axis motor, same as before, Start by loosening the screws at the opposite side of the motor to remove the tension from the belt. Then switch to the x-axis motor side and unplug the motor cable. Continue by removing these four screws that hold the end switch plate.
Same as before, unscrew the two grab screws holding the geared wheel. We will need to adjust these later. For attaching the damper on the x-axis motor, you will need to provide two M3 screws as the kit doesn't include these. I used something I had around M3 by 7.4 mm long. Don't use anything longer than this as the uh, thread on the motor house is limited. I will place a link in the description to some M3 by 7 mm screws so you can order them together with the dampers. Next step is to reattach the motor in the same position and screw in two of the standoffs by hand to secure it. Use a pair of pliers or a small wrench to tighten these maybe half a turn. You don't want to use too much force on these, they are made of brass which is a soft metal and it's really easy to strip the thread on these. Next install the x-axis end stop switch in the original position. The final step is to reapply tension on the belts. On the y-axis insert a thick screwdriver like so and apply pressure to tension the belt. Do this both on the left and on the right of the belt so you have an equal distance on both sides. Once you are happy with the results, tighten the screws and check the alignment by moving the y-axis belt. It shouldn't rub on any of the sides and it shouldn't make any funny noises. It should run smooth like it is here. Also check the motor side. I wasn't happy how it was looking here. The belt was running close to the edge of that pulley. So I inserted the washer at this point and it looked much better after the washer had been installed. The belt wasn't rubbing on the edge of the pulley anymore. And here is the end result. That annoying vibration noise is pretty much still there to my surprise on the x-axis movements. I can hear the same vibration noise coming from the print head which is caused by the metal pin on my BioTouch sensor. However, the overall motor noise had been reduced considerably. This becomes clear when you print something. Every motor noise that I used to hear has toned down. I'm pretty disappointed it didn't solve my problem with the uh, noise coming on the x-axis but don't get me wrong the dampers work the printer is much quieter from now on and uh, if you install these dampers on your printer you'll definitely notice how it makes your motors quieter. I will keep them on my printer as long as I don't see any changes in how my printer works. If the print quality is affected in any way I will do a follow-up video but until then I consider this upgrade well worth the money and uh, I've only had time to do one test print and it worked out okay, no problems whatsoever. Now I'm not sure if a genuine BL touch sensor would be better in this regard because uh, this clone that I'm using, let me show you, if I tap it with something I can pretty much hear the vibration noise from the metal pin. I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up but I can definitely hear it. If I keep one finger on the metal pin to stop it from vibrating, the noise is gone. Can you hear the difference? So maybe a genuine sensor has slightly better mechanical tolerances and construction, so the problem is likely not as obvious. I'm not sure, but if you have one of these genuine sensors, please let me know if yours has the same problem. That was all for today. I hope this uh, video is useful and it will help you install these uh, motor dampers on your 3D printer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.